He is the immediate past president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Olumide Apata has long before now launched a campaign to succeed Godwin Obaseke as a dual state governor. He has now made his intention formal by picking the expression of interest and in governorship form at the Labour Party headquarters in Abuja. Olumide Apata is the second in a long list of aspirants to obtain the forms. This is a landmark day, a watershed moment, a very critical point in the journey to Government House Benin. He explains that his latest move is to bring solutions to the problems challenging Edo State. He says if he becomes governor, governance in Edo would not be business as usual, but people-centric. I do this with every sense of responsibility. I do this because uh, I think Nigerian people, Edo people, need a champion. Edo people need he that will, or will speak for them, that will act in their interest. In the event that I become the flag bearer of my party and I participate in the elections of the 21st of September, uh, they should expect uh, a governor and a party that will put their interests first. Describing himself as the best man for the job, Pata says he will prioritize agriculture as well as local government autonomy to ensure the people of Edo State enjoy the dividends of democracy if he becomes governor. At the Edo State government, under my leadership, in the event that I, I become the Labour Party candidate and I eventually win the election, we will focus on agriculture. We will not pay lip service to it because what we always hear is saying people saying we will do this, that and the other. You can be sure that Labour Party running Edo State, we will ensure that local governments run optimally, independently. That is the government closest to the people. They feel the pulse of the people. If given the opportunity to represent the Labour Party in the Edo State governorship race, Olumida Pata says he hopes to change the narrative and give the people a new lease on life.